Welcome to Quick Learning. Today we are going to learn how to use MB25 command to check the list of requirements of any type of reservation. We will start by pressing MB25 and writing it down in our transaction tab. We'll press enter. After pressing enter you will see a new page will appear in front of you with the heading of reservation list inventory management so this command is actually used to get a complete details of all the types of reservation based upon our uh, required criteria so we'll start by uh, discussing in detail all the parameters and all the filters that can be applied to get our desired results so first of all we will go to this section that is reservation data so what is the first filter that we can apply to get a list of reservations is to apply or write a material code here directly or we can also enter a range of material codes to get a list of all the reservations that are particularly related to that material code we will just press execute and we can get any reservation that is created uh, based upon uh, this material code so you can see here that for this specific material code 600 three reservations are created against this material code these are the reservation numbers these are the plant names these are the usernames and these are the maintenance order numbers so it is giving us a complete overview just by entering one material code we can assert uh, further you know restrict or shrink it down our search criteria but by entering a specific plant here we will press execute and you can see here now the reservation for this particular material code on that particular plant will appear only in front of you and we will get our uh, desired results we can also export this list in excel as well so these are the uh, functionalities for the first two filters Thir third one is the requirement date for example we want to see what were the requirements that have been entered in a particular date for example i have entered this date 11th january 2022 and i'm also right entering the plant as well to narrow our search down so by entering this i will press just execute and now it will show me all the reservations these are the reservations for this particular date and these are the movement types that i ha that have been done this is a 261 that is 311 that is 311201 all the type of reservation that are created on this particular date on this particular plant so it is very useful command you can see further going down the, the, uh, it is the username for example I write this username and I enter a particular date or a range of dates for example I write from 112 11 1 2022 and I'll press execute and you can see the list of reservations for that particular user so you can see for this particular uh, period of time from 1 January to 11th January these are the reservations that are created by this particular user and in that uh, by a particular user in that particular span of time okay similarly i can enter the good recipient name as well i can write the name of any good recipient and it will show me the list of reservations against that good recipient so you can see it's a very much useful command and we can get details of all the type of reservations based upon our required data so going down there are some further classifications based upon which we can get our uh, required results this is the cost center i can just enter any cost i can just write the cost center here and it will show me 
uh, the details of uh, all the reservations for that particular uh, you know the, for that particular cost center so if uh, you know the uh, name of uh, some particular cost center you can just write it down and uh, it will show us the details of all the reservations for this uh, cost center similarly going down it's the order if we know some maintenance orders or a list of maintenance orders we will just write that uh, range of maintenance order or one particular maintenance order here and it will show us all the uh, materials inside it all the reservation all the components inside it all the reservation number related to that particular maintenance orders it's very useful the third one is the wbs element if we know the wbs element of a particular capex item we can just enter the wbs element it will show us all the reservations for this going down its network activity asset number sub number the receiving plant for example i enter any receiving plant like 300 maybe 3003 and uh, i press execute button and now it will show me all the reservations that have been created for the particular receiving plant that is 3003 so you can see a list has appeared in front of me and it is showing us all the reservations for that receiving plant uh, further there is receiving storage location i can further narrow it down by entering a particular storage location for example i enter 3003 and i write here 9956 that is the storage location i press execute now it will show me these are, are the reservations that are still open and are created uh, on this storage location and this plant so these two are our main criteria plant and the receiving storage location similarly we have the sales order uh, we have the sales order items if we know the details of sales order we can get our requirement list accordingly and we have this sales order schedule if we have complete data of the sales order scheduling then we can uh, get our desired data accordingly so uh, further going down it's the scope of the list so what type of data do we want in our you know uh, in our results it's it sh whether it should be an open reservations only or these should be issuances or these should be received or the cancelable reservations or the good, good movement not possible if we select all of five so it will show us all the data that are related to all of these five we uncheck any of these so that particular category will not appear in our uh, desired results so further going down the last one it is the layout mm, we can select any layout for example i will press click and it will show me what type of layouts are possible so currently there are only four layouts that are available in my system for this particular transaction code that is mb25 that is arle uh, Borsad, SPK, and this one I can select any of these uh, uh, layouts and my data will be appeared accordingly uh, in this uh, transaction for example I will press this one and I will uh, enter the date by this this is the date for example I enter the 10th January I press execute button and now you will see the data will appear in a in a bit different way nothing has appeared this time let me check again uh, i have pressed for 11th and now this this uh, you can see that this uh, layout has changed something so that has caused a different you know the uh, the different the result for our systems so i will enter again the old layout and you, you will see the results will be the different you can see there was some other selections in that layout so it was not that much suitable and useful for us so we have gone back to our original layout so this is all about this particular transaction code that is mb25 that is used to get a list of reservations for the inventory management for any particular material or plant or username 
or cost center, maintenance order, receiving plant, etc. So it gives us a complete visibility of the reservations list for the particular inventory. So this transaction code is very useful for us in our inventory management, in our material management, in our planning management. So uh, hopefully this video will be very helpful for all of you. For any question, you can just write in the comments box. You should, uh, you should, you must like the video, comment, and you should subscribe to our channel. Uh, for today, it's done from my side. Take care.